but, yeah. Okay then, so basically you're probably going to ask me a lot about jokes I've made and the actual arguments that explain these jokes, you're trying to preemptively discredit those arguments by going, oh, if I, if I tell him this, he's probably going to say this when what I'm going to say is a valid argument against The fact that saying. you are preemptively <laughs> defending the it's just a joke defense is very telling to the kind of conversation that we're about to have. <laughs> he's like, I can't believe you're preemptively defending the it's just a joke argument. It's like, you just fucking brought it up preemptively. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, totally. What is this? What is this nightmare world? And I, I did see what you tried to do there, where you tried to like preemptively like go, oh, I, bet, I bet you're going to say it's just a joke. Well, well, of course, I'm literally a comedian. That wasn't a prediction, it was a certainty. So my argument would not be, um, Count Dankula, you are a white supremacist, I will prove it, which is not possible. But instead, Count Dankula, I've been given the impression you're a white supremacist. Let's go over the reasons why. I'm interested not- in hearing your response. It's not what you said, though. You said that I, in fact, am. You've said it several times. Yeah, I have to inductively reason it. But I think for the purposes of the discussion, (laughs) it's better to walk through my thought process as I come to discover your content and the way that you talk. I hate that this is like the way it this is the way it always happens on YouTube or any of these platforms. Okay, Mm -hmm. someone on Twitter says some very absolute, really shitty, simple thing like you are a white supremacist and then when you like debate like oh well let me walk it back and well no i'm just i'm just my theory you know it's all inductive reasoning and deduction i'm making deductions here i didn't actually mean it i'm so sorry let's just have a calm conversation about me labeling you a fucking nazi in public yeah exactly just destroying your reputation as much as i possibly can with my entire audience (laughs) what who me oh i would do that no i would never never talk and engage with stuff rather than presumptively making the accusation and then like post talk going over all the assumed evidence. I think it's a better way to go over inductive reasoning. But yeah, I think that if I made this will be wait, the, wait, the, wait, wait, and go over the reasons why I'm interested not, in hearing your response. It's not what you said, though you said that I, in <laughs> fact, am. Um, you've said it several times. Yeah, fact. I have to inductively reason it, but I think for the purposes of the discussion, it's better to walk through my thought process as I come to discover your content and the way that you talk and engage with stuff, rather than presumptively making the accusation and then like post talk going over all the assumed evidence. I think. Don't you think okay, he so- has presumptively made <laughs> Yeah, that's what, that's what started the whole conversation. He already did that. Yeah, he already made the presumption, and now he's and then and then tries now. This whole debate is literally that it's he it made is. the presumption, and now he's trying to walk back and create you know evidence after the fact. Yeah, post hoc, exactly like yeah, he spelled is, it out. <laughs> he's like, this is so dumb. I think it's a better way to go over inductive reasoning. But yeah, I think that if I may, this will be the the end to my um, opening statement. My guess is what's going to happen here is we're going to engage in good faith conversation for about 10 to 15 minutes. uh, And then after that is going to devolve into increasingly irreverent um, uh, back and forth bickering. Um, You're going to say the term, it's just a joke. Do you know what a joke is, mate? Or I'm a fucking comedian about 80 times over the course of this discussion. We're not going to have any way of actually reasoning out anyone's positions and it will end up being a complete waste of time. So this is the part when I was first watching this that I I was just like, I can't believe the incredible amount of bad faith. Uh, Well, I can believe it because we're talking about Vosh. that, That you would start a debate by just saying, well, I'm going to list the possible things that you're going to use to defend yourself, and I'm going to instantly dismiss them with no evidence right off the bat for my audience. Like, just what an amazingly bad faith way to start this conversation. Yeah, sad. But I guess I shouldn't be surprised because this entire conversation is set up on the basis of bad faith. So well, you know, the thing that happens, I believe, because you were talking about how he goes back to his audience and then all of a sudden mm-hmm. things change you know, change a bit. It was <laughs> right. We left right. on amicable terms and he goes back to his audience and I was like, why you were best friends are at the end. Now you're best friends with a white supremacist. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. And they totally uh, turn him immediately. Like he's going into these debates because he has an audience that he has to please that want right. to perceive count Dankula as a white supremacist. They want the best arguments to pen count Dankula as a white supremacist. That's what their goal is. And he's basically stepped up and said, you know, I'm going to do that for you. I'm going to provide those arguments. Mm -hmm. So he, 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 he's not in a position to walk that back. No, you're right. You're right. So we're going to see how this goes. Are we we going head first in and saying that it's just a joke? I'm a comedian. I'll completely invalid arguments that hold no water. No, no. I just want to see how many times you say them. They're totally valid arguments. And I I see, but that's, 
That's why this is what's so annoying about this. Because he's so fucking disingenuous. It's crazy. It's like, no, those are valid arguments. I just brought them up and dismissed them just for no reason in the beginning of the conversation. I just want to see how many times they'll say it. That's all. I'm not saying they're invalid arguments. No, no, I don't mean that at all. No. Like <sighs> so much of this is just strange to me because it is a, so much a product of the internet environment. Like I said, I just see his audience putting him in a position where he cannot right uh, he cannot lose this debate like his, his entire status with his audience is dependent upon this position like he's not looking no, for truth yeah. he that's true and it, it was it's very funny because there was um another debate he had with some very woke person and he kept referring to uh him like debating people and beating them as his job like that's this is how he conceptualizes yes, himself yes. Okay, as a human exactly. being. Exactly. It's like it's my job to debate these terrible non-leftists and expose them as horrible, stupid racists. It's like yeah. that's a really, I don't know, that's a really dark way, I think, of, of viewing yourself and viewing your place in the world. It is. We've set up a and this is terrible because we are setting up a a generation where they believe anyone who's not progressive is a racist. Like, so you're either right. a progressive or you're a racist, which is just a terrible way to foster any kind of political discourse whatsoever. But, yeah. Okay, then. So basically, you're probably going to ask me a lot about jokes I've made and the actual arguments that explain these jokes. You're trying to preemptively discredit those arguments by going, oh, if I, if I tell him this, he's probably going to say this when what I'm going to say is a valid argument. against The fact that you are preemptively pre defending the it's just a joke defense is very telling to the kind of conversation that we're about to have. <laughs> you just See, he knows, Vosh <laughs> knows that they're actual jokes, though. That's why he has to make this argument. No, but, just, but, but this is like insane. And, and Count Dagla is, is like really great, really great in this debate. And he's right about the, the call Vosh out for this. Yeah. But he's like, I can't believe you're preemptively defending the it's just a joke argument. It's like, you just fucking brought it up preemptively. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, totally. What is this? What is this nightmare world? You, you I mean, just preemptively tried to discredit it. Oh, no, no, no. Because that's the thing. I've made that joke. Uh, oh, last prediction. You're going to laugh a lot. It's going to be a good way for you to avoid actually arguing with me. But hey, I'm that's an AG. Oh. <laughs> I know. That's horrible. I oh, laugh all the time. Sad. To turn right. your laughs into admissions of guilt. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, that that's a real... And and this is this feels like a Scott Adams point. That's a real manipulative strategy Hell yeah, because it is. it's like i want to make you feel uncomfortable about having an emotional reaction that you don't have control over so then you'll become self-conscious and then you'll become worried and then you'll perform a lot uh you'll perform a lot crappier in our conversation yeah. yes really really negative okay. definitely dude in fact i'm in trouble with the left but see this is this is the problem this is there i don't I don't remember where it was. I guess it was in a, a different. It, it was in the it was in the stream after Vosh debated this really woke leftist person, where he talks about how, you know, I go to sleep and I wake up in the morning and all I think about is like how to promote left my leftist ideology. Like and he not talks whether about, or not it's all, right. This is how like, to promote. Yeah, he's like, this is all I do all day. I just think, how am I going to promote leftism? How is the left going to win? Blah 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 blah. And it's like that's such a dangerous way to view the world because then you're basically you're setting yourself up to fall into the pit of anything I do is justified because the ends justify the means. And as long as I'm promoting my ideology, I can step over as many corpses along the way as possible. I can do whatever, you know, bad faith, dishonest, dishonest tactics imaginable because it's all to pursue this, this goal, this fake utopia in my head. Yeah. It's sad. That's right now. I've made the, it's just a joke argument many times. However, it's not an all-encompassing argument. You can't say it's just a joke to everything and expect that there's no underlying biases that inform the reason you make those jokes. To me, making jokes about edgy shit like that is a little bit like making jokes about being a pedophile. Now, if you're an edgy boy, and I am, and you are, you know, sometimes making jokes like that can be funny if it's well-timed and well-paced and stuff. I accept that. I'm a big free speech warrior myself. But if you're... Do you believe that? Do you believe he's a big free speech warrior? No, no. Does at anyone all. believe that? Not at all. No. He wants to shut up as many people as he can. Constantly 
making jokes about how you like kids and you hang out with people who unironically say they like kids and you foster communities full of people who say they like kids and you're everyone underneath all your tweets is talking about how ooh yeah they agree kids are awfully nice to molest then i would start to wonder how sincere is the joke defense and how much of it is just you avoiding responsibility for the stuff you actually believe so that's more or less the the like the the framing i'm going to be approaching this with but hey listen if you're not a white supremacist you should have a very easy time here because i'm the one who's making the uh making the attack you're the one so many of those lines are just straight out of joseph mccarthy joseph mccarthy right. was the one that would haul people in front of the senate and accuse him of the being house. communist yeah the house and and accuse them of being communists and have them defend themselves. Ha right. Have them have to prove that they're not communists, which is incredibly well, that's what's, impossible. Yeah, that's what's funny too, because he's like, oh, well, it's very easy for you because I'm the one that has to prove that you are. And it's like, oh, I don't think that's how, I mean, that's the way it yeah. should work theoretically, but we all know that's not the way it works in this realm of public political discourse. Yeah, totally. You, you, sh you should, have, that's fine. If you're not a white supremacist, Everything should be fine for everything will be just beautiful. <laughs> everything will be beautiful for you. Right. Like the Look, if you're not a communist, okay, it's going to be fine. You just yeah. want some names. We just want some names, Adam. Just give us a couple names. Exactly. Exactly. You know, it's funny because that's kind of why we talked about like the Hunter Avalon situation and how, I mean, I don't have a problem with him becoming more centrist or more to the left or whatever. Hell but, no, I'd encourage but, it. <laughs> Yeah, but what I do it because I mean he was basically just the stereotype of you know the right. Yeah. But th what I did have problem with is that he immediately goes on with uh, Jake and I forget someone else, and he just starts throwing everyone under the bus. Yeah. He's like, oh, well, Sargon's a white nationalist, roaming millennials, racist, or I forget. You know, he <laughs> know. went through a couple names and he had varying degrees of criticism. And it's funny because it's like. It's just like the Joseph McCarthy thing. It's like, here are the names. Here are the, here's the way that I prove that I'm really a good guy now. I'm going to throw some sacrificial lambs at you. Exactly. Yeah. Very much so. One who's uh, no, on the so defense. I, I let you guys kind of go back and forth there a little bit, but I want to give Count Ankula the floor now to talk. No, it's fine. It's just the, the thing is, like, you know, see whenever you, you know, are literally a, a full time comedian that does stand up, you know, like me. Whenever I say something that offends people, like I usually say it's just a joke. I'm a comedian. So it's a case of, you know, <laughs> I, that is kind of the key argument behind my job because it's literally what I do for a living. And I, I did see what you tried to do there, where you tried to like preemptively like go, I bet, I bet you're going to say it's just a joke. Well, well, of course, I'm literally a comedian. That wasn't a prediction. It was a certainty. It's what comedians have done since the 60s whenever they get challenged for their jokes. <laughs> Right, so I don't, I don't like that you try to preemptively, you know, sort of shit stop the argument. But the fact is, as well, is like, I don't really control who follows me or who likes me either. I mean, I have made, I've made pedo jokes and everything in the past as well. I've, I've done that. Doesn't mean I'm a pedophile. I've made racist jokes in the past. Doesn't mean that I'm racist. They're just jokes. Right. But yeah, so but, but one, I, I want to open up. Oh, sorry. I, I, I've, I've got I've got a way to sort of do this right now. You feel that there's certain beliefs that obviously that white supremacy. Who was the guy that was making? Give me one second. Uh, oh, you're leaving. He's leaving me. Oh, okay. It was James Gunn. If you remember, James Gunn, director of Guardians of the Galaxy, was making. Uh, he used to make a bunch of like pedo jokes on Twitter, and was it was it Mike Cernovich or? I th yeah, it was Mike Cernovich, you know, it was like bringing all these jokes front and center. And they actually temporarily removed James Gunn from being the director of the third Guardians of the Galaxy movie over these stupid, stupid jokes. Guardians Stop. of the Galaxy? James yeah, the Gunn. James Gunn pedo thing, yeah. Yeah. Correct. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, they'd have to. Well, why not ask me if I believe in those things? That's probably true. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the answer is because I think you guys lie because you're spineless cowards. That's the main thing. <laughs> so I so, can ask. So I mean, wait, 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 really quickly. You, wait, 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 wait. Is so funny? You know, wait, wait. It's so good. You could, it's so you good. Could, you could, I know, because you could be like, well, I'll, you could say, there's like, there's so many ways to say it. It's like, well, I'm not necessarily, I don't necessarily trust you to give me like the real answer, right? You're you could a say that. Or you could liar. say, liar. <laughs> You're spineless cow. You guys, you white nationalists, white supremacists, neo Nazis are all spineless cowards. You guys. Ugh. 
Wait, 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 you asked me a question. Wait, I'm just answering. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll get to it, okay? So do you know a person called Nick Fuentes by chance? Yes, I do. Nick Fuentes is a neo-Nazi. Now, listen, free marketplace of ideas. I'll talk about anything. But dude's a Nazi. If I ask him, are you a Nazi? He doesn't say yes. The reason for that is because, especially on the platform that we're on right now, Hey, is Michelle Malkin a Nazi? Because I see her like <laughs> podcasting with nick fuentes now and she's actually a, i don't i don't know what's up with her she's yeah very strange yeah well she's on fox that. news all the time that's why i'm wondering like yeah but i don't know why she's so enamored with uh nick fuentes it's very well, i'm bizarre. just saying uh, yeah uh vosh does himself a great disservice when he calls someone like count dankula a nazi and then right <laughs> it it's the boy who cried wolf thing here like okay no yeah 100 percent. because you look at someone like nick fuentes who is obviously a white i mean first of all i, I hate when they call them like nazis or neo-nazis like he's a white nationalist let's just be very specific is he a white uh, nationalist has he has he said i am yes. a white nationalist uh he has said that he specifically doesn't because he knows it looks bad optically okay okay so <laughs> so yes so. and i was and i was gonna bring them up but i was gonna say that's the difference between white between uh you know, Nick Fuentes and someone else. First of all, Nick Fuentes is a guy who has a political TV show where he's constantly talking about, you know, the need to have a white country and all this shit. Like it's constant. Right. Okay, okay. He's not okay. making jokes. So right? he, yeah, he's not a comedian. No, he's not a comedian. And then when he does make a joke, that's a spicy joke. He even says all these like wink, wink, nudge, nudge things like, oh, it's just a joke. Wink, I'm wink. And he like literally is like winking at the audience. He gives a knowing look. There's literally clips of him saying that he can't, you know, there's, there was an interview with him. I forget who was interviewing him, but it, it was him and Richard Spencer being interviewed by some other white nationalist guy. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. And he's like, Nick Fuentes is literally like, well, I just don't say I'm a white nationalist because I know it looks bad optically. Like, there's, there's just all these clips. There's like this mountain. There's a pile of fucking evidence out there that all points in one direction for right. someone like Nick Fuentes that's completely absent for someone like Count Dankula. And here's the thing, too. And, and here's why this is all bullshit, too. Because... I agree that if you ask Nick Fuentes, are you a white nationalist? He's going to say no. Yes. But, but if you ask someone like Nick Fuentes, do you think that people should be able to have children uh, with mixed race people? No. He's going to say <laughs> he's no. Gonna he, say no way. Yeah, he's going to say no. He's not going to say it's because he's racist, but he's going to say no. He's going to come up with some theory for why why that shouldn't be, even if he's not racist. Right. If you ask Nick Fuentes how he feels about immigration, he's going to say, oh, we should absolutely stop it or restrict it completely. Like, and these, this is why this is bullshit because if you, because as you'll find out, you can ask all these questions to Count Dankula and he just, he's like, I don't have a problem with mixed race couples. I don't have oh, a problem with immigration. Exactly. I don't have a problem with any of these fucking things. And if you were to ask Nick Fuentes or someone like, or Richard, well, I guess Richard Spencer is a vow, but if you ask Nick Fuentes or someone hiding, you know, all these things, they would say no. They just lie would be the reason they give, but they would still say that they're against it. Right. Yeah. He's, he's open about his positions and all of that. He's consistent. Uh, Count Dank yes. is on a podcast every week. You'd think right. <laughs> some inconsistency would come out. Why isn't Vosh debating Nick, Nick Fuentes? It seems like that's the person <laughs> he wants to debate here. It's too easy. Everyone knows Nick Fuentes is a, is a spicy racist boy. Lying about your views is a way more effective way of disseminating them than just being open about it. If everyone who was a bigot just said, like, yeah, I'm a racist, welcome, we're going to talk about racism, then there probably wouldn't be that many racists in the world. But well, see, this is also stupid, too, because his definition of white supremacist applies to people who maybe don't even realize that they're racist. Yeah, the, the Karen on the street <laughs> corner who just called the cops because she saw suspicious teenage boys uh, right, milling right. around so on the street corner. Right. So if your definition of, of white supremacist is literally you could unconsciously be racist and not realize it, then how are you even supposed to def how are you supposed to defend claims against the fact that you could your unconscious mind could be controlling your actions? Yeah. But things like dog you have a free will are debate. a very effective way of bringing <laughs> people over. I would say that you're particularly bad at it. Um, I would say the only people who can look at your content and not think there's an underlying bias are people who are willfully delusional or people who are biased themselves. But that's what, what? we're here to <laughs> Oh. What happened? Oh, dear. Vosh. Uh, apparently, Vosh cut out. Hi. You just listened to a clip from the Sitch and Adams show. If you like what you heard, you can listen to our live show right here on this channel on Sunday, starting at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. And if you want, you can super chat us. We read $20 and up super chats on the show and then do a follow up stream on the following Tuesday where we read the rest of the unread super chats and interact with fans of the show. Subscribe to this channel right here to listen to the live show or to listen to more of our awesome clips.